Hello, welcome to this Blender topic on animating text with a Bezier curve. Here we have an example of a render of where a Bezier curve has been used to manipulate this text. So I'll open up Blender. And this feature is available through 2.62. You could actually animate a text with a Bezier curve before too, but it was a different technique, or it wasn't the same. You didn't have the same possibilities. Let's go to user preferences, because you need an add-on, and you can find that under animation, and it's Roto Bezier. So if you check that box, this functionality will be available. Go back to 3D views. Press 7 and 5 to look at this from the top orthogonal and delete the cube. Then press Shift A to add a Bezier curve. Press Tab to go into edit mode. And I would like to straighten this out. I'll press N on the, so I would like this to be zero there. And I wanna make sure that this here is to zero. Yeah, so we're on, on a flat line, so to speak. And then we can press E click left click and then grab this arrow to pull this out e okay we can just move forward here try to fix that and then you can look at it and say okay we want it to be zero zero there and look at that from the front yeah looks good press tab to go to object mode and now we'll add a text shift a text and it's facing upwards, so I'll do R, X, 9, 0. So I rotate it up, and then press tab to go into edit mode, and I'll type in, this is a wob text. And now it's just flat, so I would like it to be thick, so to speak. So I'll go to the font tab, and no, nope, I'll change the zero. 0.1 the extrude to 0 0.1 and depth the bevel depth to 0 0.005 you can look at that what that looks like see the beveling there then I'll add a just a red material so it stands out press 7 look at it from the top and move the illumination over here select the camera I would like the X rotation of the camera to be 90 and the Y no Y rotation and then look at this from the front number one on the keypad just pull the camera down something like that press 0 to look through the camera G X to move it sideways and that's I think that's good, and then G, Z, Z to move it depth-wise. So now we can actually render this text like that. That's all the preparation we need. Press 1 to look at this from the front. Then select the curve and tab to go into edit mode. And um, you animate this in the similar fashion as you do with regular objects it's just that you have to use, use this panel to do, insert the keyframes so let's say we select all of the control points and then insert keyframes for all of them and then we move forward 30 frames and I select this here and I could go I can just raise it up to 1.5 and press and I can press A to select all and then insert. Go to start and just play that and see. Okay, that's the move we're getting. And of course, to, for this to have any effect on the text, I would have to select the text in object mode and add a curve modifier. Use the curve and X is the transformation axle that I would like to use. Now, since it, w it shifted over a little bit, so this I should probably have done first, but 
in terms of uh, workflow, you can do it whenever you want. So we'll just play that and that's what it does. So let's say we will, uh, would like to drop it down at 60. So press, I'll just select this control point and I can just enter zero there in the number field and then I'll insert that. Go back to the start and play it. Let's go to 10 and then select this one here. Press 7 to look at this from the top and just kind of pull it way out like this. Press 8 to select all of them and then uh, insert. And then I go to 40. And I think I would like this to be around there. Since we have already selected, we already have these straight lines for the control points, then it's just going to force it back. Uh, so we're at 40, and I think that's good. And I'll insert that. And then we can go to 60. So I think that's good. So let's um, look at this through the camera. Go to start and then play it. So we'll play it again. So it's pretty apparent that you can do a lot of things with it. Let's turn on the tilt too and uh, go to 80 and then we could uh, maybe rotate that, see what happens. No, I didn't do much. Select all of it and then insert that. This one and then uh, change that to zero zero. Also change that to zero zero. And this is the good part where you have your you do something wild. If you don't have your control points, you know where they're supposed to be, so to speak, for the text to be, so to speak, normal. I can insert that. I can just do AA and insert that, and then we'll play this from the start. So that way it returns back to its straight line as the as an ordinary text would be. So I think that's sufficient for this. Uh, you kind of animate this in the same same fashion as you do with uh, any normal animation. It's just that you have to use this uh, insert panel to insert uh, the animation. I could save this file as we we'll call it um, test like that, and then. What I would like to do now is we can play it again. See, so yes, it's doing its little dance. And then I'll do this. I go to object mode with the curve selected and just clear the animation. I say OK. And um, OK, I didn't clear that sufficiently. Clear animation. Press Enter. Okay, now it's cleared. So now nothing happens. So now we've just erased that animation from this file. And you can start over. So that's a good feature actually, since if you mess up, we'll, we'll add that. We Let's load that test.blend. If we go to animation and look at the curves and uh, press control up arrow, 
there's a lot of control points, a lot of work. You know, you could end up messing with a lot of stuff, editing things, take a lot of time, and maybe it's better to start over. So that way you can actually do that pretty effectively. So I think that's it for this. I'll just play this a little bit faster version of it before I say goodbye. Uh, that's um, a previously rendered. And it's the same that I showed in the beginning. Just about twice as fast. So there. So I thank you for viewing and I hope you can use this. There's of course a lot of other possibilities to use this. So you can use it to animate other, you know, mesh objects or whatever, but uh, it's just this um, Bezier animation feature that I wanted to demonstrate. So I hope you liked it, and if you do, please click the like button, subscribe, favorite, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.